Hello everyone, welcome to QS Tag. Today we are going to see how we can view logs in an Android application. So let's begin. So how to view network logs of an Android app? So for viewing network logs, the first thing you need to do is to connect your phone to the laptop using a USB cable. Next thing is you need to enable developer options under the settings. So to enable developers option, you have to go to settings on your phone, scroll down to about phone, click software information and tap on the build number seven times. Once that is done, you'll be able to see developer options tab. Now next step is you have to go to the developer options, scroll down to the USB debugging and enable the USB debugging mode. that's it you're good to go now next thing is you have to open your chrome browser and navigate to the url chrome inspect devices so let me do that sorry for the typo So once you log into this page, then any network activity performed on your phone will be recorded on this page. Yes, of course, there could be a time lag, but you'll see everything. Let me cast my phone again. So let me open a Google Chrome and then try searching something like Now let's go back to the Chrome devices. So here you'll be able to see the recent activity. Once you click on inspect, DevTools will be launched. Let me maximize it. So this will be showing exactly the same screen which you're on on your phone. And from here you can uh, play whatever activity you perform. If, if you scroll down, or just click on any link. So all the activities, the network activities, all the services, requests, responses, you can see from this network tab from, for about your phone. So this is the way how you can view network logs for any native application or Chrome browser, anything. So let's move on to our next topic. That is how to view Android application logs. To view Android application logs, the first thing which you need is Android Studio. So you can download Android Studio. I'm sorry, yeah. So you can uh, download Android Studio from Google. And uh, once you once the download file is completed, you have to double click on the file and then follow the installation instructions. Now, once the Android Studio is downloaded, you have to launch it. Let me launch. Android Studio in my phone. On launching Android Studio, you'll be able to see this kind of screen. And the first drop down will indicate, will show you the device name which is connected. Right now, I'm connected with Samsung M40. Then it will give me the debuggable processes. Here I can select my application, the debug version of the application. It is mandatory that you are having the debug version of the application installed. Otherwise, you won't be able to see logs. The next thing is uh, the log type. So right now I've selected log boost to display all the logs. Then next is here I can search for any keyword if I want or anything. So let me open a debug application. Again, going back to my phone's screen. So let me open this application. This is a demo application which I have downloaded from Google. So in my Android Studio, let me select this debug application. Now I can see the log specific to this application and I can 
search for an error or any keyword. So this is how you can easily see the application logs. Now, next thing is how to view Android screen on laptop. So you might notice that I am casting my screen here in the laptop. So let's see how we can do that. So for doing that, you need to install an extension called Viso. You can simply put Viso extension on Google and you'll be able to download the extension. Once the extension is downloaded, you'll see this kind of icon. You just have to double click on this icon and you'll be able to navigate to Viso's main screen. So let me click on it. So this kind of screen will be displayed and your de connected device will be shown over here under Android devices, Samsung M40. Now let me click on view device. Once I click on view device, this window will appear and I'll be able to see my screen. So it allows you to perform clicks and other to tap and scroll all the operations on the phone via laptop screen as well as whatever activity I'm doing on my phone screen is also reflected in this display. So this is how you can cast your phone screen on your laptop. So that is pretty much it about the session. These are the reference link which you can use to download Android Studio or you want to inspect the devices using Chrome. If you like the content of this video, please hit like. If you want to see more content like this, please click subscribe. Thank you everyone for attending this session.